Hey guys, so the buzz these days is all about MCP, Model Context Protocol. So even I wanted to make a video on it. And this video is all about understanding what is MCP, how does it work? And at the end of this video, I'm gonna show you a simple tutorial of like Model Context Protocol, right? Uh, so let's get started. So the lot language models that we know like Claude, ChatGPT, Gemini, Llama, Mistral have completely changed how we interact with the uh, information and uh, technology. Right now, these models are so advanced that they can do deep research. They have the reasoning capabilities, and uh, they can actually solve a very complex problem. Right? Uh, they can even code uh, if you give them a query. Right? Uh, so, but one thing that these models are not good at yet is that they have been constrained by their own isolation from real world data and systems so that is where mcp model context protocol comes in as a savior uh, to address this challenge by providing a standardized way for lms to connect with external data sources and tools right it's like uh, a universal remote for ai applications right um, you might ask like what about RAG, right? So RAG is where you provide LMs with custom data required to generate contextually relevant responses to the user queries. But MCP goes beyond that. MCP provides direct access to the tools data sources so that, you know, kind of a unified API uh, as shown in, in the figure, right? So that's about MCP. We'll talk more about MCP uh, in the upcoming video and I'm gonna show you a simple tutorial also. Hey guys, so by definition, the model context protocol MCP is an open standard developed by Anthropic to enable easy access and a standardized integration between EI models and external tools. So it was developed by Anthropic first, and then they made it, they open sourced it basically. So it acts as a universal connector, uh, allowing large language models, LLMs to interact dynamically with APIs, databases, and business applications. So like I said, it, it was originally built to improve Claude's uh, ability to interact with external systems tools, but then Anthropic thought it could be really useful for other folks also, and they decided to open source it in the early 2024 to encourage industry-wide uh, adoption. And now we can see that how every company, most of the folks are actually trying to use it. So think of MCP like a USB-C port uh, for AI applications. You can plug in different AI tools and then start using, uh, right? So at its core, uh, we need to understand MCP has different uh, components. Uh, and it follows a client server kind of architecture. And uh, you need to understand what is MCP host, like uh, programs like Cloud Desktop, IDEs, or AI tools that want to access uh, data through MCP, that th those are kind of MCP hosts and M MCP clients, uh, the protocol clients that maintain one-on-one -on -one connection with servers. And MCP servers is what we create, like lightweight programs that, uh, each expose uh, specific capabilities um, through the standardized uh, uh, model context protocol. And then we have uh, local data sources, uh, your computers, files, databases, and services that MCP service uh, servers can easily access, securely and easily access. And then we have uh, remote services, right? Um, the external systems available over the internet. Uh, so these are some of the components that uh, the uh, we need to understand when it comes to model context protocol. You can see the image. And then uh, let's, um, so it's like, um, let's imagine the concept of MCP um, as a restaurant where we have the host, uh, the restaurant building is the host and then the server, uh, the kitchen is the server and then the client, the waiter is uh, the client who sends tool the, the tool request and then the agent is the customer uh, who decides what tool to be used and then the tools are kind of the recipes uh, inside the restaurant so as simple as that so in the next part let's see a simple tutorial of model context protocol thanks hey guys so the 
prerequisite for this tutorial uh, on MCP model context protocol is uh, to have the cloud for uh, desktop ready. So download it if you have a Mac OS, if you have Windows or uh, with Windows ARM 64. So depending on your system uh, configuration, you can download this. So this is the uh, uh, prerequisite and then so this is what we are going to build, right? So I'm just uh, going to model context protocol dot IO. So uh, I went to their documentation and um, we are building basically uh, the uh, we're building a server that exposes two tools, uh, get alerts and get uh, forecast for the weather. So um, that's what we're going to do. And uh, once you ask a question like what whether alerts are active for uh, NY and it's going to answer back. Since uh, the LLMs will not have direct access to the weather um, weather report or weather data, so it will be really hard. So that is where we're going to use, we're going to create um, two tools through MCP, Model Contact Protocol, and then we're going to fetch the weather report and weather data. So I, I just followed this and then um, you can also follow the same thing. I have uh, my uh, code and everything is ready. So this is the code and then uh, we're going to run the server. And like I said, we're going to build, um, we're going to create, um, basically create two tools, get alerts and uh, get uh, the weather forecast um, tools. And uh, then we will connect the server to um, MCP host. So I have the code ready here. And uh, the thing is, I just need to uh, run this. I have uh, my main dot py and then uh, it's under the weather um, directory. And uh, this is the weather dot py, right? So let's uh, run this um, UV run weather dot py. And uh, now it's running and let's go to the cloud um, desktop application. So this is my cloud desktop application. And uh, if you see how to make sure the two tools are active on your uh, cloud application is by this, uh, you can see this, right? Uh, available MCP tools, you know, get alerts and uh, get uh, forecast so these are the two things that are those are uh, active on my cloud desktop so if you go to cloud here and then go to settings you can see from the developer um, settings that the uh, weather um, um, weather thing is it's, it's running right so you can basically edit the config and then then see uh, how we have uh, configured this, uh, right? So MCP server, this is the weather uh, data that we're gonna get, and this is the command, and then the, this is where my uh, code is present, and uh, this is how you will run. So um, that's uh, the uh, cloud desktop config.json file, and if you want to mo create more uh, MCP servers, you can add more uh, in this file and then um, you can get started with that. And uh, so let's go back to our um, um, configuration and then let's close this. And uh, now the available MCP tools, uh, we already, um, we have the setup ready. And then let's ask like, uh, what is the, the weather like in New York City, right? Let's ask this and let's see the response. I'll help you get the weather forecast for New York City. To do this, I'll first need to use the coordinates for New York City. So it is asking me, you know, all our tool uh, from weather local run get forecast from weather. So it is asking me um, to allow or um, deny the thing, but I'm allowing and uh, it got the latitude and uh, longitude and all those things. And then 
now it is asking me to allow another tool to uh, you know uh, get activated uh, i'm allowing that also and then it's going and fetching the data uh, from the server i mean using these tools that we created as you can see right i'll help you get the weather forecast for new york city to do this i'll first need to use the coordinates for new york city it used and then let me also check if there are any weather alerts for New York City. And then it used the second tool that we created, added in the MCP config file. And then uh, as you can see, here's a summary for the weather in New York City, right? Today um, will be Thursday, exactly the present day. As you can see, it will be sunny with a high of 51 degrees Fahrenheit and uh, uh, Northwest wind around 12 MPH. Tonight, these uh, blah, blah, blah. So there's a special weather statement for New York City area, warning of low humidity, 20 to 30%. Tomorrow, Friday, looks sunny and slightly warmer with temperature reaching near to 28 degree fan heat and followed by a chance of rain showers Friday night. So would you like me to elaborate on any part of the forecast? So if you just used Claude, it could have given you some hallucinated answer, right? Uh, just the Claude uh, chat application. But using the MCP concept and then creating tools, it can easily fetch like fetch real-time information using these tools. So this is how model context protocol basically works. You can create different tools. Uh, you can basically add different tools to this uh, cloud desktop config JSON file, and you can easily free see what are those, right? Uh, by going to the settings, you can easily, um, you know, uh, see the 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 things those are uh, that are running, right? Here I'm asking, I'm talking about weather, um, and then the weather server that this thing is running, so. You can create more such uh, things and then uh, basically fetch real time information using the tools that you created through MCP. So uh, that's it for today. I mean, I, I hope you understood what is MCP, how does it work. You can do a lot more uh, with MCP, right? Not just this, and you can basically create a lot, lot more tools and then fetch the real time, real time information. You can basically create a um, lot of automated things uh, for your day to day activities. Uh, and uh, I'm very positive about uh, model context protocol. And uh, thanks for watching.